hey guys this is dabs welcome to my youtube channel i'm super excited to have you in this tutorial in this tutorial i want to show you how i designed a woocommerce niche dropshipping website just as you can see on this screen here super beautiful super cool selling specific super niche for the purpose of this tutorial here we can see that this store here is selling uh speakers wireless speakers not just beautiful speakers they are all selling and picked product i'll show you exactly how you can do that literally free in this tutorial uh, these are hot selling products on aliexpress and most of these products here right now are able to even ship from the united states some also in countries in europe so if you come to this option here you can see this one ships from china is ships from spain so you can literally design beautiful website and uh, you can see their fantastic website here you can see beautiful beautiful all these are done with a click of a button super simple super easy also related products here that we are selling on our store We've also downloaded uh, real reviews of this product from AliExpress. Uh, so if you click this right now, you would see reviews of this product. However, this is not in English language, but I'll show you exactly how you can also convert this to English language in this tutorial. We can choose a color black right now, add this to cart. So you can see, you can view our basket and then we can proceed to checkout. And then you can see this product here is receiving payment with stripe however this is a test mode so i'll show you how you can also switch this to a live mode by stripe if you also want to collect payment with paypal or whatever payment option out there i'll show you exactly how to get that done in this tutorial so this is an holistic tutorial a beginner friendly tutorial for you to design a niche drop shipping woocommerce store ready to receive payment today this is a step-by-step -step guide that will help you whether or not you're a beginner even if you have never designed a website before an e-commerce website before this tutorial will, will guide you step by step so you can check the video description for you to see time timestamps for you to move around this tutorial if you like this website here and you want to have something similar like this you can also check the video description because i'm giving out this template away for free if you see the link in the video description if you click it you may be asked to fill a task or do something that that's you supporting this channel and after that you have access to this template i'll also point you in the right direction how you can install this template that's it if you're excited about this tutorial let's not waste time for that let's get started immediately so first things first uh there are basic things that you need before you can have a wordpress website and the first is for you to have an hosting account which uh, is what I call uh, a ground to build a house and secondly you need a domain name uh, which is uh, the address of your land which is the server which is the hosting so what I mean basically is that you need an hosting account you also need a domain name your hosting account is the server and then your domain name is the address so just like you want to build a house which is wordpress or a dropshipping website you need a land and that piece of land which you build your house is your server and then you need the address okay the address to this house is number so 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 so, so. and that is what your domain is www dot the domain the address of your website dot com so that people are able to find your dropshipping website for us to be able to do this hosting guy makes it very seamless it's the best budget friendly hosting out there uh, you can get your hosting for as low as 2.99 dollars per month so just write it is written on the screen here everything you need to create a website you can have up to 77 percent off just getting hostinga and the link to get hostinga is in the video description if you click the link in this video description is an affiliate link i will get a setting commission and that is at no extra cost to you as a matter of fact you will get more using my link because you have access to the 77 percent off you also see a coupon code in that description that will give you amazing for that slash down for us to start you just need to hit this claim deal button here it will bring you down here to their premium their business and their cloud startup their premium here is the cheapest is from 2.99 but it gives you access it gives you a server that can host up to 100 websites 
if you are sure that you don't want to host more than one website you just want to have one website right now and that is more than enough you're sure that you won't need to add more websites subsequently then you can just come to hosting here and then you can come to website hosting so you can see it this claim deal button and you can see this is giving you a single solution which is just 1.99 per month and that's literally amazing so you can host just one website with it it has some limitations literally uh so limitations such as you won't be able to get access to a free domain and then you have one email account so this will be very handy for you if you have a domain name somewhere and then also you are okay just hosting one website so i advise you to go with the premium always add this to cart if you have enough resources for that all right so the next thing for us to do here is for us to choose a period for our hosting plan so if you come down here you see that you have four options which range from a monthly plan of 12.99 to 12 months which is 3.49 to 24 months which is 3.29 and to a 48 months plan which is basically 2.99 uh, this is increasing uh, over time before it used to be a flat rate of 2.99 from a 12 months to a 48 months plan but this is hosting uh, just saying that we reward people who invest in us on a long-term plan what's also important for you to note here is your renewal rate uh, so you can see here for 2.99 you'll be renewing this plan for 6.99 here 7.99 here 9 plus 9.99 and it is flat fee here at 12.99 so this is amazing so i would advise clients to go for as long as 48 months plan because you also get a two months free so this is a 51 months plan for as low as 2.99 and you renew at an incredible 6.99 per month which is absolutely mind-blowing you never find a deal like that in the market right now so if you scroll down you will see here that you already have a whooping 48 dollar discount with 77 percent off here uh, you see that you should be paying ideally 623 but you are paying 143 but also like i told you earlier you can use my coupon code called dabs to get an uh, a further slash down you can see that this has now reduced to a 129 dollar 17 cent uh, this is an amazing deal for you to get a 51 months plan in all honesty so if you come up here so you see that instead of this being 2.99 it is now 2.69 and this is now 2.96 this is now 3.14 that's the power of using my coupon code called DAPS so if you you can choose whatever hosting plan work for you and then come down here create an account uh, by providing an email and a password and choose your preferred payment gateway and then you check out so if you did go through the process and you did check out you can check your email for you to see details to your hosting and your payment received your receipt and also a link but it should redirect you to a, a portion here for you to set up your hosting account and what you basically need to do is to hit the start now button and then you would also be asked if you want to create a new website or you want to migrate an existing website i have touched on tutorials around this but for the purpose of this example since you are creating a new site will go that route and also you'll be asked if you want to use wordpress or you want to use hostinger builder with ai but for the purpose of this example we are limiting this to wordpress our default language is english which is okay if you have a different language you can click this and choose your language my administrator email is okay with the email i registered uh, with on hostinger and then i can create a secured password Make sure your password is encrypted with uppercase, lowercase, a symbol, a number, and all those things. If not, you'll not be able to pass this face. Send. And the next thing is for us to continue. Here, Ostinga is asking us if we want to install these plugins, but we will say no. Okay, since we want to install WooCommerce, I think we can work with WooCommerce. So let's untick all of this. And let's take WooCommerce and let's continue. Also asking for a theme we would like to use for the purpose of this example. Let's keep this. I'll use a different theme entirely. So here is where you can claim your free domain. Uh, 
if you did create your account like i told you you have access to a free domain if you buy a premium plan so you can just hit the select button here and then search for the domain that you want to create and then you can also select your preferred tld most likely a lot of people like to use com but there are a lot that you can work around with dot tech dot email dot org and all of those things you can search if you find it available you can claim that domain but for the purpose of this example i will not be claiming a domain i would be using an existing domain that i already hosted with my hosting account because i have lots of hosting plan on this account so i have used some hosting plan that i have claimed a domain from but since this is tutorial i do not want to claim a domain so i'll leave that i'll use that eventually later so this domain here is what i'll be using my cbmastery.com if you have registered your domain name somewhere else and you want to use it with hostinger what you need to do, do is just use an existing domain then also write the, your existing domain name here and continue and then hostinger will provide you with a name server so you can go back there and change your name servers so that's literally simple to, to do as well so let's stay here with an existing domain name and then i can just finish my setup So as you can see here, Ostinga is installing WordPress and this will take a few minutes. So we are ready, 20% 20, 20 gone. Uh, we will give this some few more seconds to finish up. All right, well done, we are ready. So our website is ready. So we can go to our control panel first. So what I really love to do here first is for me to see that my uh, SSL certificate has been installed correctly. If not, my website will not load a secured padlock here with HTTPS. So I want to come to security. I want to come to SSL. So I, I just saw a notification now that it has been installed. So that's good. Sometimes it may take time. Sometimes it might be... Uh, it might fail so as you can see this is active and this is to this date 29th of march so right now let's come back to dashboard and then we can see our website here and we can see a link here so when we click this this should open up our website so this is my cbmastery.com and we can see woocommerce is already installed we have a shop we have my account we have a checkout we have a cart a link directly here this is amazing so let's log in now to the back end of this website so if we come back here this is the admin panel here if we click this this should give us direct access to our wordpress dashboard okay so now this is the back end of our wordpress website uh, so this is hosting our plugin has been installed automatically we can see wordpress installed automatically so let's come to plugins let's come to installed plugins I want us to for now deactivate the hosting plugin i really don't want to use that right now and also our light speed cache plugin we want to deactivate this as well so i can uh tick both of these and then we can delete this and hit the apply button and then we can hit okay all right so those plugins has been deleted woocommerce alone installed and that's fantastic so the next thing we want to do right now is to install an active theme like i mentioned from the beginning we are installing a niche website a niche drop shipping website and that's exactly how to design drop shipping website today gone are the days where drop shipping work by having a general store you don't want to compete with uh, walmart you don't want to compete with uh, amazon you don't want to compete with all those big gigantic aliexpress uh, e-commerce website selling varieties of a lot of things basic underlining secret to people who are still crushing drop shipping business to today is for you to have a specific niche niche down as possible as selling two three products winning products that sell and i'll show you how to get those products literally for free in this course so right now let's use a theme let's come to appearance let's come to themes let's hit the add new theme we can search for a theme called cadence theme so we have cadence here i can install cadence and i can also activate cadence theme so cadence has been installed i have also been able to delete other 
themes here that are not needed so i will always encourage you to keep your wordpress website clean as possible so i'm only leaving 2023 theme here uh, which is the default wordpress theme currently so that's it so uh, after installing cadence theme here you see this option here for you to install cadence data template so let's start with that so here are amazing templates from cadence that we can use so but i would love to filter this down from pro to free so let's see the free themes alone that we can use so right now we can scroll down you can see amazing uh template here for food photography for conference but let's come we can even still do some filter down from all to just basically e-commerce since we want to design e-commerce website alone so that's it so here are e-commerce website that are free that you can use uh, so but for me for the purpose of this example i will choose the single product and this is exactly what i'm saying i'm saying that you should uh not work with general template store but rather pick single template website where you can sell few product specific niche product uh drop shipping websites so this is exactly what this look like it's fantastic the color green scheme here i'll leave the colors i really don't want to play around colors but you can change colors here and eventually we can further customize this website later so right now let's just go for the full screen option let's just keep this and let's start importing our template so as we can see this template is being installed into our wordpress website all right so this is finished we can view our site by clicking this button here but since we have that open here we can leave this so we can just refresh this to see what our website look like right now Bingo, so you can see my cbmaster.com is here. Amazing. This website by default sells this speaker and it's quite fantastic, really. This is a beautiful niche website that I am talking about. So you can see the product of the website is everywhere. Uh, you can see that they are selling just one major product that they now sell some accessories around. This is the kind of e-commerce website that sells right now so right now we have our e-commerce store ready so how do we convert this e-commerce store into a drop shipping website so we need to have a product that we want to sell so for us to be able to turn this into a drop shipping website let's come back to the back end of the website and let's come to plugin let's come to add new we'll be using the help of a plugin to pick out alt drop shipping opportunities out there so let's search for a plugin called dropship me let's install this plugin and let's activate this plugin as well so immediately we install and activate this plugin if you come down here we'll see a place for uh dropship me but first off let's come to activation so you can see here that we don't have an api key for us to be able to access their database to get their odd selling products well, it says here that for you to be able to get your database via API, you need to activate the plugin, you need to visit their website. So let's do that right now in the new tab. So right now, you can see that we can start using uh, Dropship Me today for free. We need to provide our email address. So I can provide my email and then I can get plugin now. No, I want a free Dropship plugin only and that's what we want. And these are our API keys right now, so we can copy this. I would even love for us to download this plugin. Alright, because it seems like the one we downloaded from the, rep the WordPress repository may not be updated. So now let's come back here and let's come to plugins. Let's come to add new. Let's come to upload and then let's come to download here. So I'll drag this here and then I'll install this plugin. We just want to confirm whether or not uh this one we have is outdated so let's see if it is the same in terms of version so it literally looked the same in terms of version so let's cancel and go back all right so now let's come back to dropship me and let's come to activation let's paste our key here and let's activate 
all right so we can see that our api key has been activated and now we have 50 products available for us to install so the free version of this plugin give you access to 50 products so now let's come to import product and these are all selling products on aliexpress you can see them that the product that they are selecting for us are products that have amazing orders and amazing reviews so right now you can see if you scroll down you can see 4.6 4.7 you can see the pricing and then it is recommending a price for you so if you buy this from aliexpress for 2.85 your recommended selling is for you to sell at 11.98 and then you can have a profit of nine dollars 13 cents and that's amazing right and that's the beauty of drop shipping you can see here that this plugin has a catalog of 36,000 plus almost 37,000 uh, results in product so you can filter this down by categories you can come down here and search for the category that you want to work around so if you want to sell maybe baby and kids shoes you want to sell kids jewelry men's shoes sex products smart electronics maybe i should work around that niche since i have something quite similar on the website already uh, you can also still filter this down to subcategories smart watch smart wristband smart activity tracker smart accessory so i doubt if they have anything around uh, speakers on this website but i can search so you can see they've got speakers too as well uh, we can see portable speakers here so i so you can see this speaker here too as well this literally look like the same speaker that's been sold on the website so you can see this is another bluetooth speaker so i can just want to change uh the image on the existing website right now with few products here that has been unpicked for us so right now here quite a number of speakers here that i might want to experiment with so this has free shipping uh, free shipping might be a an icing on the cake for you so you can see literally all products here really have free shipping that will fasten uh your sale uh, trust me it will so for this right now we can just click through this let's check out this speaker so you can see that this seller here sells color black and also sells color red uh, so you can see these are the images here so you want to make sure that the products you are going have uh, amazing images uh, so you can scroll so you can see beautiful images so you see this is exactly what i'm talking about so you can see because these are the images that you should populate your website with so you can see this and have a fantastic image here so you can see this okay so uh for the purpose of this example i think i would work with this so let's import this and again another thing you can do is that you can import these to categories so in case you have categories on your store so we have accessory categories here so you may want to create a new category and then import this product to categories so that's it but if you are working with a niche store like i'm saying you may not want to categorize them because you don't want to sell more than maybe five products really so that's it so let's import this so you can see mini product has been imported and that's fantastic we like that so right now let's come to our products let's come to all products so let's check out for that product so you can see here i have the product here as draft so let's edit this in a new tab so this is it here so let's just uh publish this product uh for you in your case you may want to work on the product you may want to uh change some things add more edits do whatever you want to do with it i don't want to waste so much time so that is literally up to you uh so right now we can uh, view this product in a new tab too as well So this is what uh, the product will look like if we want to check out uh, for people to see. So I can see here that we need to work on our site because our site is loading.com slash index.php. So we can solve that problem by coming to settings and coming to our permalinks. And then we can choose a post name structure here and then we can hit save changes. 
and then if we come back here right now and we refresh this page so we can see that we have our, our website.com slash product and then the product and no more index dot php okay so um just before we continue doing other things i think we should go back to dropship uh dot dropship me here and then let's come to import products let's import more products at least maybe three four more products uh that we can then walk around build in niche around on the website uh, so let's come back here to speaker so for example let's start here uh, let's try to filter that things down so you can see here this one has 4.9 which is okay it has 12,000 orders which is fantastic uh, profit margin is $26.51 uh, but let, let's check this out let's see let's see again let's open this up uh, but if they have good cool images then why not that's fantastic uh, but another option if you, in case you like the product so well you like the review you see that this product is good based on recommendations and they don't have images you may want to type the name of that product on aliexpress to search for other sellers selling the same product that might have good images and also videos eventually we'll get to that as we build our website so this has a fantastic image with a plain background that would tickle my fancy uh, so we can see this as well yeah you can see people uh vibing and just using the speaker which is also fantastic so those are the three images they have that may not be good enough uh, but that's it let's close this and let's go to the other one let's open the next one so this is where you're going to spend a lot of time you're going to check through to see all these things i'm talking about because the beautiful uh the if you have crisp beautiful images on your website it will make your website pop and also you want to make sure that you're not putting away uh, reviews what people are saying about this product and also how many others this product has gotten so all of these things the dynamics of all these things makes uh, a very good product so this has good images here I can see beautiful images beautiful 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 images here also but I'm not seeing any images here that gives me a plain background that might not tickle my fancy uh, so I can see all of this here so this is literally up to you for you to choose you may not really put a lot of emphasis into what i am so you may want to check out the reviews to see that this got good reviews too as well i don't want to go to that but this huge from china poland united states this makes this product a fantastic product just imagine if you want to sell this product in the united states it can ship from the united states that means you get absolutely fast shipping that's something you want to you want to look into so this product in itself is good knowing that they can ship in different countries in europe and in america and also from asia uh, so this is one of the products you want to have on your store there are a lot of factors that should influence the product that you eventually be sticking with that i believe you understand the concept uh, so this is literally simple so you can go all out there check out the products uh the ones that uh stick with you uh the ones that you want to sell different niche that you want to sell in and then eventually pick out your product so for the purpose of this example i will just import this product too as well and also this uh also let's play around with this so let's have this too uh, so that's three that's four products um we might just want to add one more but i think i will let this two get uh done with all right so but uh this product here now has been stored and that's fantastic portable wireless speaker with sling cover let's just import these two as well so that's it that's all the product that we'll be installing on our website so right this is imported so let's come to our product and let's see all of these products that we have so let's quick edit this and then uh let's change this from draft to published and then let's update this if you want to change the pricing that's literally up to you and uh, also let's uh quick edit this as well let's change this from draft to published and let's update this and then the final one here let's quick do that too as well
all right so we have uh this product now published so for these other ones here let's just take them out two three four and then remove this to bin since we are not selling this product all right so we now have five products here that we want to drop ship ready for our niche website uh, so right now we can come back to the front end now and let's refresh this page so now we need to redesign our own page now to show the products that we have in store so that's the next thing for us to do so if we come back here uh, we can just come to our shop page to see all the products on our shop all right so these are the five products we have on our store uh, that's it and their pricing everything is there so now let's come to our own page here and let's edit this page let's all right so this is our home page so now here you want to now start adding the images of our product so for this one here right now uh you want to find let's click this let's click the container here and let's come to style uh let's come to background settings overlay so this is the image here we may want to edit this image uh, let's come to our library here and let's find a similar image that we can use that can replace what we already have uh, so that's why it's good for you to check out the product to see that they have quality images if they don't have you may want to go uh, you may want to buy this product yourself and then snap it for you to have good images that can fit to the website or you can just go to aliexpress and find somebody selling the same product who might have more uh, quality image that you want to use so those things are very 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 important uh, so right now i will just be checking out these images uh, so I need to find a landscape image that can do exactly what i want to do So you can see here i'm not uh, getting any image here at all that can literally just fit into that space let's select this let's just check so you can see this is not popping i might want to just it's okay what we can do is to delete this let's just take out this image and then here let's just add an image here so we can just come to image uh, we can come to media library and then now we can select uh, whatever image we want to use whatever product we want the idea is that out of your five products you should have pick out your best product which is the first thing you want people to see for the purpose of this example we'll just pick any random one i might just pick this uh, and then i'll select this All right, so this is just me here. I might want to give it maybe more spacing. I might want to zoom a little bit more. Uh, so this is what I'm gonna do. So I can come back here now, and the name of this is uh, Graffiti Printed Wireless Bluetooth Speaker. So I want to copy this. You may want to change the name of your product. That's literally up to you. So right now I will replace this with the name of this product. So I'll just paste that here. So you may want to put some additional text that's literally up to you but in my case here i don't have any text you can use chat gpt to generate text to do whatever you want to do but i'll just take this out uh that's it uh so you get the idea how much is this product here yeah, this product is going for 25 dollars 90 cents so i can change this to so for this i can change this from 189 to i can just say uh from 89 dollars really so something more like that to just give people a reason to want to buy so that's it for this for our shop uh shop now here we can uh possibly add a link to this this button link here we can come to our shop now and then we can just uh copy the link to this product copy link address and then i'll paste that here 
So anybody who clicks this link to shop now, we now go to the product page. Uh, so that's it. Uh, if you have logo here, you may want to possibly delete all of these away. That's literally up to you. Uh, so you can just keep editing uh, your products. So right now, I want to change this image right now to any of the image. I want to talk generally about why people should have a speaker. Uh, so that might be... Uh, a motivation for a place like that so I might want to just use this since they have a uh, plain background so ideally right now if I were to want to use this image I would delete the background and then I would want to use something that has a transparent background uh, that's me really so uh, we want to drag this image more to get bigger. So that's it. Change out the text. You get the idea for this right now. Uh, this image here. I might also want to uh, change this image too as well. Uh, come to style. And then I can change this image to any other image on the website as well so I just want to maybe play with another random image here so you can see that we are coming up with our website so for this let's just change all the images and then I'll leave the text I really don't have time to start editing those text as it were so for this um, I just want to maybe play with this no I, I think um, that's for me I'd rather go for plain white background this would work for me better than anyone would ask text so you want to put all these things in check uh, so this product here is empty i think that's because this is where we have recommended images so here we we need to set our product here and so this is where we would set out other products we have in our store so that people would be able to buy them too as well uh so here we want product image product title price rating and i had to basket uh so let's come down here we can order this product by newness or or we can switch by from price or sales most sales or we can just filter this down by uh, price high to low or newness so i just think i'll leave this by is rating so now let's come to products and then we want to select the product that we want to show here so we'll be selecting all the four products that we have on here I think uh, we will take away this graffiti since we have that up there initially and then all the other four other products we will list them here so that's it uh, for this so we now have shop uh, accessories or shop other odd selling products whatever you want to put there and also reviews here I would also show you eventually how you can uh, we'll show you eventually how you can uh, import reviews from AliExpress for every of your products. That's very, very important. You may want to leave reviews for the products on the product pages alone, but I think it's fantastic if you have some selected uh, reviews that you must have screenshot or something uh, that you want to put on the home page. That's fantastic. So um, right now, so the final thing here is for us to change this. So let's click this and uh, let's come to style and then let's come to this here let's edit this image okay what we did earlier was to delete the image right yeah so and then we now had a new image from here so let's come to image uh, let's come to media library and let's uh try to see if we can bring in a similar image to okay this was what we use uh let's use this one now so something like this and then we need to change the title so you get the idea change the title from what we have here uh, so we can copy this right now and then we can bring that here 
so the idea is just to make a website as beautiful as possible with fantastic images fantastic images and you can change the price too as well so that's it for this page you can add more if you want to uh, also you can change this image too as well if you have more image you can replace this uh, from media library just something like that uh, this image too as well uh, this one too needs to be replaced so let's cancel this and since we don't have images that have a uh, good width so I'm just trying to media library all right so beautiful images of speakers that pop that tell a unique beautiful story so you may want to drag this a little to zoom this a little more all right so we're gonna leave that as is for this here for you to be able to change this is literally simple uh this is a playlist so for you to be able to make changes to this when you click on any of this you have the option to choose your grid type how you want the images to show so you have those options here and that's very very beautiful so but when we do that we can just click the edit uh, pencil button here and once we do that we'll see the list of images that are there right there so these are the four images we can choose to add to this gallery you can just add four more images to the gallery and then we can delete the existing ones uh, so we may just want to play around with those i can just maybe pick one two three and then four let's add this to gallery so we have four so we're gonna take out the old ones and then update our gallery so you can see this is literally up to you for you to experiment with what you want to do really really uh, so that's it uh, so once we are done making changes to our website to our images updating all the url to the pages uh, so once we are done with all these settings here we can just update this page and that's it and then we can view our page now so fantastic we now have a beautiful image here that speaks uh, what we sell you can see amazing amazing website here so anybody can come here uh, just go to the product from here and then they are ready to buy a product so we can you can see fantastic stuff here right now we have super hot selling related product we have a drop shipping store ready for us to start selling so before we forget let's come back here and let's see how we can bring in all the reviews for this product so we sh can come to dropship me and then come to import reviews and then you can select four stars and higher or the kind of reviews you want to but i think if you have uh, reviews from three stars i will be fine up to 20 that's fantastic apply this to all categories products that have reviews less than maybe five no i just want to close this up so you can take your time to read through all of these things to see what uh, suit what you want to do uh, send reviews to drafts no i want it published import reviews from my country alone this would work if you have set your country in your uh, woocommerce maybe to your specific countries and also you have selected uh, reviews for your specific language uh, so translate reviews into my language i want this because most times on aliexpress people drop reviews in their own language uh, ignore images in reviews you may want to ignore images but most times when you see aliexpress review you see people will snap images of the real product and they would post it alongside with their reviews so import reviews with images alone that may be what you want to do 
I upload images to server. Yes, I want those images on my server. So when you're done making all the select, just click this import button and these reviews will download straight into your WooCommerce store. So the last thing I think we should look into before we end this tutorial is for us to look into payment. So there is an option here for WooCommerce for payment. You may want to add a payment. So how do you get paid? All right. So uh, for us to set up our payment here we can see who payment here we can install who payment here but who payment make things quite very complicated so i will not even recommend you go through this process so install who payment uh, for free so let's just um uh let's just come back to plugins here let's come to add new and let's just search for woocommerce payment so you can see this is WooCommerce PayPal payment. It has 600 active installations. So you can see it has two star rating. Sincerely, if you go through that process, you will just go mad. Uh, they make it very complex for you to integrate payment option on your platform. But what I would advise that people should do is for you to choose what will work um, specifically for you. Uh, in case you want to receive payment via PayPal, just type in PayPal for WooCommerce and integrate your website with PayPal. And the amazing thing about uh, PayPal right now also is that PayPal even allow you to um, receive payment with your credit card. In case you want to do Stripe, just type in Stripe for WooCommerce and don't do this WooCommerce PayPal payment uh, it's a lot complicated uh, it would waste your time but you can go through the process really it works it does work but I just want to make things very very easy for you so you can just instead of WooCommerce payment you can just say for example stripe WooCommerce payment so beyond what WooCommerce offer here which is also give having like three star ratings there are other plugins you can install so like this one i have used web toffee before they are fantastic i've also used these two as well before they are fantastic so uh for example let me just install this so let's experiment and let's activate so once we do that we would see web toffee stripe here so if we click this so for general setting, we can change this from test mode to a live mode, but I'll leave it for test mode. And then our test public key and test private key, we have to get them in our Stripe dashboard. So right now, if you want to go to your Stripe dashboard, you can to get your API keys. You can see there is a link here directly. So if we open this in a new tab. So I'll just try to log in into my Stripe account. So down, just down here, you can see that I have my uh, publishable key and then my secret key. So I will just click uh, this to continue. So this has been copied. So I'll come down here, I'll paste that here. And then I'll go back. And then for my secret key, I'll review this and I'll click this to copy. And then I'll come back here, I'll paste that here too as well. So that's it. I will save changes. So you can also still mess around with debit card. Deb, uh, you can enable this. So you can say this is enabled for debit and credit card on our website. Uh, so if you want to save card for later future, enable transaction receipt, you can enable emails, transaction receipt, you can enable that as well. Uh, you can also enable Apple Pay and Google Pay, Stripe Checkout, and all those things on your store. Uh, those things are quite fantastic. So let's just save these changes and that's it. Let's just try to end this here. So we let's see if we have a payment gateway right now on our store. So let's close this. Uh, let's come to our shop. Well, let's come to this product here. Let's... Let's refresh this. So we need to sh choose this ships from China. So we choose our color. Uh, what we have right now is color black. So we have 20 in stock. Let's add one to basket. Let's view our basket. Let's proceed to checkout. 
so we have our product here so you can see we have test mode enabled for stripe so we can pay via stripe this is how super simple and easy it is for you to design your drop shipping website and this is literally ready for instant drop shipping so in case you want to customize your custom checkout page here you don't want to maybe take out some field away you don't want to have postcode you don't want to have town and city maybe you are you you don't even want to have options for country you may be selling directly to a personal you may be selling directly to one country i have tutorials that i have the i have done around woocommerce to show you how to customize this how you can have a direct checkout uh, in your store so you can check on the screen right now for you to see a link to other tutorials you can also check uh my woocommerce playlist to see other tutorials for you to have designed even a custom uh checkout page like this to make your product look more beautiful i have tutorials covering all those things so you can check them on the screen right now uh, you can also check for that tutorials in the video description to customize your dropshipping website better with WooCommerce definitely so that's my time for this tutorial I believe this has been super useful and helpful for you if it has give me a thumbs up if you have any issues let me know in the comment section stay cool design your dropshipping and start crushing dropshipping I'll see you another one bye for now